Welcome back to another episode of the Tip Share. This week, we're going to cover how to turn your restaurant analytics into profitable business intelligence. Today, innovative restaurants are using business intelligence to drive operational efficiencies, improve profitability, and reduce managerial burdens. So, how do they do it? The clearest way to understand restaurant business intelligence is to run through example metrics used by experienced operators. Please note that in order to use business intelligence in your restaurant, you need to be running a modern restaurant management software that collects, tracks, and reports on those relevant metrics. There's no one way to use business intelligence. Restaurants are free to choose what to track, how to track it, and what actions to take based on that data. That said, there is some consistency in terms of the metrics most operators choose to focus on. We'll introduce a selection of basic all the way to advanced business intelligence reports for restaurants that offer known value. Each of the following metrics is both a lens to view your business in a different light and to mix metaphors, a lever to push to optimize outcomes. So let's jump into those examples of basic business intelligence for restaurants. Starting off with sales trends. What dishes are selling better or worse? Is customer taste evolving in a way that you can capitalize on? The average ticket size. POS data should make it easy to track your average ticket size. The amount a typical customer spends over the course of a meal. Table turnover. How often do your tables turn during an average night? Again, you can likely find this in your POS data. Staffing levels. On busy nights, how many staff are working in the front of house? How about on average and quiet nights? Do your staffing levels match sales levels, or are they expensively out of alignment? Workforce intelligence. Manage labor, training dollars, and employee turnover across multiple units. Now for a little bit more advanced business intelligence. Things like contributing margins for menu items. You want to know how profitable each menu item is, calculated at the sales price, less the food cost. Payroll compliance data, things like tracking tips, overtime, state and federal payroll requirements are just a few to name. Spending forecasting. Evaluate and optimize daily restaurant spending with a weekly spend forecast. Actual versus theoretical cost variance. Once you know your theoretical food costs, you can then compare them to your actual costs and track the difference between the two. Supplier intelligence. Easily track product price trending, manufacturer deviations, and contract compliance. Now that we understand the basics and a little bit more advanced business intelligence, how can software improve this for my restaurant? Well, modern restaurant management software, such as Razzie Suite, offers detailed analytics tracking and reporting features. A good solution will integrate with your POS system to pull data directly from the source, which is going to ensure timeliness, accuracy, and a minimal amount of manual processing. To get the most out of your business intelligence metrics, it's critical that you have automated processes in place to regularly and consistently collect the needed data and then track and chart that data in an easy to understand manner. Customizable dashboards in which you can define the tracked variables and how they are graphed are key tools. Razzie's system allows you to keep on top of your metrics in real time, enabling swift operational decisions. So this business intelligence for restaurants can help your profitability, but how? From the front of the house all the way to the back of the house, business intelligence has practical benefits that influence your bottom line. For instance, Data-based sales forecasts can help you determine the ideal number of shifts to schedule to meet demand and thereby deliver good customer experiences at a minimum labor cost. When it comes to your menu, dish-by-dish -dish sales data will provide you with the information you need to adjust the menu, rework dishes that don't sell, and double down on those popular choices. This is known as menu engineering, and it's a key practice of profitable restaurants. 
Cost management features like supplier intelligence enable you to compare your costs with those of the industry as a whole. You can also measure product price trends, manufacturer deviations, and contract compliance to ensure that you're getting a great deal at all times. Another benefit of business intelligence is the opportunity to control costs with greater precision. Closely monitor data on cost of goods when combined with measurement of portions and tracking of kitchen waste will position you to know exactly how much product you use to produce your dishes. Using that information, you can optimize your inventory so that you have adequate reserves for your sales volume, but minimize time on shelf and hence spoilage. On the whole, business intelligence is a force multiplier for management, setting you up to make timely, data-based operational decisions that generate a true financial return. Razzi enables you to track your key performance indicators in real time so you understand where your business is today and not last month. We've explored the benefits of business intelligence for restaurants. Now, the question is, how do you get started with restaurant business intelligence? The best way is with software built from the ground up specifically for the restaurant industry. Razzi provides a comprehensive analytics and reporting solution for restaurants that integrates POS data, accounting, payroll, cash management, operational metrics, and much more that allow you to minimize manual data entry and give you consolidated, unified access for all your restaurant's data. Razzi's purpose-built restaurant software is the choice of thousands of restaurant operators across the country. To learn more about our suite of services, you can visit razziusa.com slash services. That's it for this week's episode of The Tip Share, and as always, we'll see you next week.